Welcome to City Passport. I'm Melanie Felice, and today we're going to be taking a look into luxury living in Washington wine country. Hi, and welcome to City Passport. I'm Melanie Felice, and I'm here this afternoon with Steve Lambert, who's a local realtor and owner of TriCitiesLife.com. Steve, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, glad to be here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Can you tell me a little bit about your background and how the website started? Oh, yeah. Um, been doing real estate here in Tri-Cities for a little over four years. And I saw the need as the area was changing and growing to kind of develop a niche market, if you will. Uh, more and more people in the area were looking for exquisite homes or more refined homes or homes that had really fun and unique features. And so, because of that, uh, Tri-Cities Life was, was born, I guess, if you will, uh, in, the, in mad scramblings in the middle of the night one time. So. And I love that. Speaking of exquisite homes, we're happy to be sitting in one of them in, here in the Tri-Cities area. Tell me about the uh, prestigious places that have actually recognized us for um, being who we are. Well, Forbes is one that everybody recognized. We're one of the top 20 geekiest cities in the United <laughs> States, which, which, you know, Fitting. you wonder about that, right? Yeah. But they, the way that they... Uh, determine how that ranking comes in is by the number of people that are in engineering or science and mathematics either degrees backgrounds or technology in, in terms of what they do for a living and obviously with with the uh, Hanford area and all the other science and technology we have here it's a great distinction to have actually one of my favorite things to do is to wine taste how do you think Who doesn't like to wine taste right <laughs> especially here how do you think that has really brought attention to the area and living and just and something, something to do on the weekends? Oh, I think it's had a massive impact. You know, when you look at the number of people that are visiting the Tri-Cities from other areas because of the wineries that are here, um, you know, we're getting exposure not only to the surrounding areas in the Pacific Northwest, but we've got that corridor now to down in Napa Valley and we've got people coming from the East Coast coming out to say, hey, I want to see what's going on here. Getting exposed to all these wonderful things that we have here and the wonderful wines that we have and that in turn is just kind of spreading that message throughout the country and the area as we go along. I think it's just had a massive impact. So That is very, very cool. Well, thank yeah. you so much for your time today. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Well, of course we can't talk about luxury living without drinking some wine. So here we are at Thompson Hill Cellars. We can see all three cities. So there really isn't any place like this to enjoy, enjoy a glass of wine in the Tri-Cities. Wine tasting has really become an integral part of people's lifestyle here. And so um, as a result of that, we are finding really spectacular tasting rooms. And it's fun to see, and you can really make a great day or weekend or even week of it if you wanted to come out and explore the wine country. It's beautiful. Well, cheers yeah. to that. Hey, cheers. time here is up. What do you have next for us, Steve? Well, we've been looking at these great views and we've seen the river in there so often, so maybe we should just head on down to the river, take a look at that, and there's some great dining right nearby as well. Let's do it. All right. You look at what we get to experience every day with the river, and we have a great quality, great quality of life here, mm -hmm. great schools, great. great educational system, great people, great jobs. I mean, and it's growing. What's not to like? So what can you tell me about the dining in well, our area? It's uh, changed dramatically. We've seen an absolute explosion in independently owned uh, eateries. And so covering all different types of foods, different um, backgrounds that people are coming from. We have people coming from you know, Portland, Seattle, Southern California, Boise, and they're bringing all these really exciting new recipes, flavors, and experiences to us here in the Tri-Cities. So that's kind of fun. We haven't had that before. Well, here we are at Cedars Restaurant. Beautiful, beautiful restaurant. Great location on the Columbia River. Uh, great food, great atmosphere, and it's a fun place to come to be able to try some of our local wines and, and, and foods. And of course, the signature rum barrel. And the best part about local fine dining is they always add a personal touch.
Well, thank you for joining us today. And Steve, thank you so much for your time, taking us around and showing us some of the unique properties we have in the area. You're very welcome. It was my pleasure. And hope you got to learn some fun things and see some different things that, we, uh, so that we have here. Very Any good. closing thoughts? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, a it's a great and fun, exciting time to be here. We have just so many things happening, a lot of uh, just neat, fun things to do here. So as I uh, encourage you and other people when they come here, let's dig a little deeper and find out a little bit more about what we have to offer. Absolutely. Well, as you can see, take, take a look behind us. Really can't get much better than this.